The return of Fulgrim is nearly upon us, and in this video, we're going to explore the narrative impact of the next demonic Primarch, not only returning to the tabletop, but to the setting as well. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. Now, before we jump into this, because I know people are going to ask this in the comment section, I am going to be doing a huge rumor video dedicated to the Emperor's Children next week, probably Monday, as I like to do my rumor videos on a Monday. We'll explore all the rumors about all the new models for that big range refresh, which is going to be happening in 2025. Personally, it's not the biggest refresh of 2025. If you're a Space Wolf player, then there's some cool stuff to talk about. But again, that is another video for another time. Now, Fulgrim is probably one of my most favorite Primarchs because he brings so much to the narrative, the potential narrative of 10th edition. I've always said that I think 10th edition has really missed the mark with the narrative setting. Yes, we've had this fourth Tyrannic War, the Tunids invading with numbers that we haven't seen before, but it's felt so flat. We haven't had more stories. We haven't had inspiration to like, oh, okay, let's go out, let's go and fight against the enemies of the Imperium. But I think that could change with Fulgrim's return because what Fulgrim did to the Imperium, for me, is he is the reason why the Imperium is in the state it's in. Because when the Emperor was interred on the Golden Throne, yes, he fought Horus and stuff. Yes, it was a bit of a blow to the Imperium itself, but we still had a capable leader and that was Gilliman. Gilliman took over. He was leading the Imperium. He made the Codex Astartes. He was running the High Lords of Terror. He was making sure the Imperium was still the Imperium. And then what happened is Gilliman sought out Fulgrim. They had a battle on their ship. Fulgrim managed to slice the throat of Gilliman. Gilliman was then put into stasis to stop him from dying. And what we had over those 10,000 years is the Imperium slowly fading in decline. The ruin, the temptation, the disease, the rot all took over because we never had someone to lead us and that is because of Fulgrim and this is where I think we could have one of the first big narrative impacts of Fulgrim's return because we're going to get a reunion of him and Gilliman. They still have that fight that needs to be finished. Gilliman was basically saved from Fulgrim, and Fulgrim wants to end the job that he started. But I have a fear about this. I don't think Gilliman is powerful enough to defeat Fulgrim. Yes, Gilliman is the champion of the Imperium at this point. He's more or less the de facto emperor in all but name. He wields the emperor's sword. If he manages to stab Fulgrim with that sword, then that is it. Fulgrim is like just completely gone. But I still think Fulgrim is too skillful for Gilliman. So this could be a huge opportunity to bring in another loyalist Primarch, a Primarch that we all know has returned. Turned, and that is Lion L. Johnson. We have yet to get the meetup between Gilliman and the Lion. The Lion returned at the end of 9th edition. We have the big Arcs of Omen narrative. He's back. He's leading his sons again. The First Legion is more or less back in all but name. But still, Gilliman has not met his loyalist brother. What if this is the opportunity for them to meet up and actually fight their demonic foe of a brother? Just imagine this. Close your eyes and let me talk sweet nectar into your ears. You have Fulgrim. He's battling Gilliman. It's an amazing battle. They're clashing. You know, there's fires, there's explosions everywhere. But in the end, Fulgrim is looking down on Gilliman. Gilliman is exhausted. He's ruined. He just can't beat his demonic primate brother. He's too strong for him. And Fulgrim looks down and is like, you are alone, brother. Damnation has come for you. And then all of a sudden, there's a whisper through the halls, right? He is not alone. I stand with him. And out of nowhere, the lion, who we know he can forest walk, just 
appears and he helps Gilliman to then fight demonic Primarch Fulgrim. You stand not alone, brother. I am with you. Gilliman is like, brother, you have returned. I have been returned for a while, brother, watching, waiting to strike from the shadows. We can have that epic reunion and it'll be so much of a fun service between like me and you. We've been talking about this for how bloody long now. When are these two loyalist Primarchs going to meet? Just to see each other, just to get that little bit of hope that maybe just maybe the Imperium can go through this and come out on the other side. Now if they don't want to do something like that, another narrative they can choose, and this could be absolutely massive as well, is they could bring Fulgrim back not once, but twice. For those people who don't know, there is a perfect clone of Fulgrim that exists currently in the Warhammer 40,000 narrative. That clone is in the possession of Trazen the Infinite. If you've read the Fabius Bio series, then it explains it all in there. I'm not really going to go into the ins and outs of it. I just want to say there is another Fulgrim, a Fulgrim that learned of the original Fulgrim's betrayal, and he wants to seek out and do the right thing he wants to redeem himself for his clones or should i say the original fulgrim's actions if this makes sense it gets a very very technical okay um but before he could go along and do that um he was basically traded um uh over to Trazen, and Trazen now just keeps him in his you know his museum in full-on stasis so maybe something can happen where that clone fulgrim is let loose and we can have this type of narrative where the clone fulgrim returns to the imperium bows before gilliman right and says hey right i'm sorry i'm sorry for everything the original fulgrim did that is not me that is him and that opens up a whole deck of new cards like can you really trust a Primarch that technically already fell to the powers of chaos? Can I take this clone's Primarch's word that he is going to try and combat the, um, the original Primarch he came from and try and slay him for that demonic Primarch's past sins? There's so much to explore in that from the Imperium standpoint, from Chaos's standpoint. How would the Imperium? take to that would they still see this primarch as like an abomination as a demonic primarch or would they say like this is an act of the emperor redeemed in the emperor's eyes there's so much stuff we could go down that road with i think that is probably one of the most technical narratives they can do will they do it 99.9% .9 sure they will not, but it really is a massive narrative that potentially can be explored for Fulgrim's return. The Imperium is not the only one that would feel the effect of the return of Fulgrim. I personally think that Fulgrim's return would be most felt within the Chaos ranks itself. What we have at the moment is Abaddon leading his Black Crusade, his forces, in trying to do as much damage to the Imperial forces as possible. The uh, Great Rift has split the galaxy in half. That has really helped Abaddon. He's got these Arcs of Omen. He's been working with Vashtor to unlock this so-called weapon. But but what if Fulgrim's return really puts a spanner in all that work? Because Fulgrim is known to be very, very cunning and manipulative. And what if he can start going around offering the seduction of power to the people or the demons or the Chaos Warbands that are following Abaddon? Because Chaos is all about having power. And if you have this demonic Primarch returning, firstly, that's a massive thing. Like when you have Mortarion, when you have um, Angron, when you have Magnus, um, their sons instantly start going to their gene fathers. That, that has been known in the law. They want to follow their gene fathers in the destruction that they cause. So you could probably get a lot of the Emperor's children, which have a lot of numbers, by the way, in the Forces of Chaos, going back to Fulgrim's banner and say they want to now crusade with him. But other war bands promised more power by Fulgrim grim saying hey if you follow me i can offer you more that abaddon's following so maybe abaddon is going to really start feeling the pressure of another demonic primarch returning 
to the setting and maybe he wants to get rid of Fulgrim as well. It could be like a civil war within chaos itself and also just more pressure on the Imperium as a whole. I'm hoping that next year is going to be the start of a new big narrative that is going to get us inspired, that's going to get us talking more because so far it's just been so underwhelming. So hopefully with Fulgrim's return, we're going to get something good. Again, the models and everything like that, I'm sure they're going to be spectacular from some of the rumors that I've been hearing about. I really do think that it's probably going to be one of the best army refreshes we've seen in the past um, couple of years. But again, that's all for a separate video that I'm going to be making uh, sometime next week. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on this. Like, what narrative would you like to see Fulgrim getting involved with? Is it just Fulgrim turning up and just doing Selneshi things? Is he going to try and maybe stop Vashtor from um, unlocking the weapon that he's searching for? Is he going to go and attack Abaddon? Is he going to obey Abaddon? Is he going to go straight for Gilliman? Would you love the line and Gilliman to team up to actually fight um, Fulgrim? Again, there's so many cool things here, potentially what we could explore. And I'm excited for it. I like making these videos because it gets me excited it gets me talking about Warmer 40,000 and Sadler, we haven't been talking much about it lately because there's been nothing to talk about. Games Workshop has given us nothing to talk about. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we have some big things happening at the start of next year. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and I'll have a little chinwag with you down there. See ya. Have a great day and bye-bye.